But the Spaniards are, uh, so Archbishop Arthur Roach, Secretary of the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments, has written this new book in Italian, Facing the Mystery, Cherishing the Faith. In the book, Roach extensively examines the biblical imagery of gardens. He found the reality one finds in the gardens of the Bible, whether it be the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Gethsemane, or the garden where Christ rose from the dead, are the gardens where people reside nowadays. Our Lord shows us how to grow through his own experience, whether he's on the top of the mountain in Tabor being glorified or in the garden where the resurrection takes place or in the garden of Gethsemane. The most important task is just being faithful to the Lord at whatever stage the plant is developing or the garden is, is, is developing into something wonderful. He adds that prayer and faithfulness to the sacraments and Christian vocation gradually lead a person back to the Garden of Paradise. In his book, he notes how even writers such as T.S. Eliot and St. Teresa of Avila use the image of the gardens to explore the pathway of the soul. St. Uh, Teresa of uh, Avila um, spoke about the gardens of the soul. And she explains how the spiritual life moves on by moving through the garden to a different place and to a different garden. Always God opening up something new and something very enticing that brings us very close in a relationship with the Lord. Although originally produced for clergy, Roach hopes this book will help all people to see their calling to service and growth as disciples of Christ. Recent events.